Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 158. I want to step back for a minute and kind of summarize and then try to simplify what we've done so far. We've used the left function to pull Anderson, the last name, out. We've used the right function to pull the first name, the middle initial. And we've used mid to just pull the first name. But when we did all three of these, notice the reference is either to cell B4 or B4 and C4 or B4 twice and again C4 once. We needed these find and length calculations and we put them in separate columns to make using these functions easier. What I want to do today is show you how to combine the functions so that you can put everything you need in left and then let's just do this. If we delete this then this screws up, this screws up, and this screws up, but all three of these stay the same because none of these are based on cell B4 or on cell C4. I'll put these formulas in the blog that I do with every video so you can look them up and use them. What I want to show you is just that it's possible to do. If I had to do left, right, or mid, and I was in a hurry, I was only going to do it once, I might do a, a separate column to calculate find or length and just reference the separate column in here to make it work. If I was going to do it again and again, space was at a premium, I wanted to um, send these things out and not have to forever be in hiding columns or things like that, I'd go to the trouble to get this right once and then copy it down like that. So here's the left function and if we click, what left is doing is it's looking in A4 and the number of characters is this function here with the find. And if you wanted to see the detail of that, you can always click inside and it'll show you what we're doing with fine. We're just looking for a comma in A4. So overall, we're going to look at in A4. We're going to find a comma in A4 and subtract 1. All I'm doing is combining the find and then over here, the find and the length functions. And it looks long and nasty to have all this to mid, you know, A4, find, and whatever. But if you take it a piece at a time, get it right, and make sure you get James and Elizabeth and Jennifer and Charles, and it works then it's a whole lot easier to just have one cell. It's not referencing anything else. If somebody accidentally comes in and deletes this or deletes this or both, or if they come in and try to copy the formulas, you've got them hidden. It's very easy to make these formulas portable and take them where you need to go. Again, you get it right once and it works. I'll put the, the actual formulas that are here, here, and here in the blog so you can see them. I just wanted you to see that you don't have to do extra columns to make these kind of functions work. That's what I wanted to do. Stay tuned. Next time, we'll do some more text-based functions that aren't quite as long and complicated and hairy as these guys. We'll see you then.